Oh snap. Y'all, what up with you? It's your man's Gamage. And uh, right now, as you already know, it's no surprise at this point, we are still participating in No Shave November. Shout out to all of those who are fighting currently and have loved ones and or friends that you know that are fighting currently the great battle of cancer. Uh, together, we can do it. We can do it. So, each one of us doing our part. No Shave November is our part in bringing awareness as well as bringing awareness to how individuals can not only talk about it, but to also put resources and funds toward cancer research. So if you have not already, head over to NoShaveNovember.com and choose to sow a seed, choose to be a blessing toward, um, even if you did not participate, choose to be a blessing toward the research of cancer. And uh, let's do this thing, man. Right now, we are headed over to the beautiful gun craft because we are going to test out, we are the red light. We're going, well now we're, it's green again now. We're going to test out the new recoil management system from DPM for the CZ Shadow 2 Compact. We've heard so much about it. Our homie, Shady, my dog has one and uh, he's been, Chris has been like telling me how, oh, this is the bee's knees, you gotta get this. And so, we finally picked up one and we are now about to go test it out and see what it looked like. Ladies and gentlemen, follow me. Let's go to the range. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night to you wherever you are on the planet. It's your man's Gamage, and I am back. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are at Guncraft. Guys, today we are here to go over and take a look at the world's only, the world's only progressive three spring recoil management system for the CZ Shadow 2 Compact, but pretty much, ladies and gentlemen, in the world. Um, if you're familiar with anything from DPM, DPM's whole goal is to take products and make them better. So from the AR platform to the AK platform, they've done, they hold so many patents on spring recoil management systems. Like they are notorious for eliminating felt recoil um, and producing follow-up shots, faster follow-up shots. And that's what they claim here with the DPM CZ Shadow 2 Compact Spring Kit guys we don't have a lot of daylight left and so we're gonna jump right into it but before we do i must show you the beautiful cz shadow 2 by tommy gun stippling with this baby we are sporting the topo black and white as you can see um we're also sporting a trijicon sro on top um we have the lock grips we are definitely doing the palm swell lock grips as well as the lock magwell base plate and mag release we also have the lock mag release and guys the, the gun is a beautiful thing to run it is unloaded already it is beautiful and we are rocking it in the gray man solutions you cannot have a topo piece without um 
running the reverse topo on the holster and you can only get something like this through gray man solutions and i would highly recommend you use the discount code got gamage why because you need to save coins on your own custom holster guys make your stuff yours um so yeah we are running that but lee let, let, let's look let's set him off to the side he's clear we're gonna put him back over here in the package what do you get in the package ladies and gentlemen you get a recoil management spring or the guide rod you actually get the guide rod with this and they come with four different springs now if i can get these untangled here you come with two gold there's a gold short and a gold long this one is the gold short and that one is the gold long if you can look at those and then you also get a silver short and a silver long if you can make out that right there that is the silver short that is the silver long now here's where the poundage is supposed to differ how you're supposed to be able to um tune this guide rod to what you want your pistol to be um the stock guide rod inside of the shadow 2 i believe they say it's upwards of like 17 17 pounds on the stock guide rod again dpm claims for better double tap concentration significant recoil management slide and frame protection improved firing speed eliminates jams and no modifications required because it is a complete drop in piece ladies and gentlemen we're going to hit the range and we're going to get some side shots and just just see what the stock is like and then we're going to actually run each one and just roll the footage and see what it looks like let's jump into it all right ladies and gentlemen we are on the range we are unloaded we are getting ready to test the stock recoil spring and just see what it feels like um matter of fact we should switch our glasses we're gonna switch to the ray-bans hunter goal give me one second all right so we're back got the ray-bans on um just so that we can catch some first person footage as well so we are here we are going to load and make ready and again, we're just trying to capture a few shots um, to see what the stop recoil management looks like and um, and then go back and see where we are. We're shooting our bash target. We're at about 15 yards right now and we're going to just see what the stop looks like. All right. I mean the stock is pretty flat in and of itself it doesn't really but of course we have the ports from tommy gun stippling and so the stock is already flat i guess we could do a build drill to see exactly um where the time wise would be cold as all get out other than those shots let's walk down a little bit more we're going to walk down to five and we're going to do a build drill. I'll show you the target is clear. Target is clear. Glass is on. Build drill. Let's go. Time 203. Not a horrible spread, but uh, first shot 106. Best split was 0.18. Everything else was 0 0.20, 0 0.20, 0 0.20. And let's look at the target. Not a horrible spread, but uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. We're going to change it to the long. Let's go silver long and then work our way down. We're going to go change it. All right, to change the unload clear, to change out the spring, you have the guide rod and then you have the spring. It literally just slides right on and captures a little tighter up there. So the three springs are the one that you put on, the one that's near the rear 
and then there's also a third spring inside the front portion of the guide rod and to let's go ahead and slide that in there we'll put those in the order that we're going to try them next to change it you just simply pull that slide back punch out your pin slide that off take your recoil pull that baby out we're going to set him to the side set him down in there like such compress it boom he sits down in there flat put him back together and do it is that simple ladies and gentlemen now it doesn't feel much different i think we're only going to take a few shots with this let's load up some more ammo while we're here we're using a little blazer ammunition no plug to them because they don't support the channel so uh but just to let you know what we're using blazer 124 which they tell you blazer doesn't cycle um uh through ported barrels that well but um you know we're not having an issue we only brought 150 rounds to test out this spring kit so we're not gonna go haul crazy with everything all right that's full let's go all right ladies and gentlemen we are back we are now running the silver long the silver long and it actually feels a little bit tougher than the um than the stock but let's see exactly where we are i don't like jamming my magazine up so glasses on Let's see exactly where we are with the silver long and see what it does. On the bash target, 15 yards out. It's not a significant decrease. If I can be honest, I think this actually punches a little bit more than the stock. So, we're going to uh we're going to skip this we're going to go ahead and go to the silver short and see what that looks like we have the silver short with the glasses on with the silver short it actually does feel different in cycling already so silver short is 14 pounds and let's see what the 14 pound actually feels like when cycling back and forth that feels different that does feel a little different um let's attempt to build drill with this and see exactly what we got Target has been marked where the other shots were. Shoot it ready. Stand by. That was only five shots. I tell you though, that would have been quicker. First shot was slower. First shot was 107. Splits were all 20, 20, 20, 20. The last one was 22. And uh, that was a 189. 189. It was a 189 without a six shot, though. And the shots are far less than what you would have considered perfect. One, two, three, four, five. So I think that was the first shot. And then all of them, we skip <laughs> all over the alpha and wet up the Charlie on that side. So ah, let's mark these and we're now going to switch to, we're going to switch to the gold long, gold long, which is 13 pounds. Let's go. We are back with the gold 
long go long is reportedly um 13 pounds so silver 15 silver shorts 14 gold long is 13 and we're just going to see what it feels like for a little bit 15 yards out on the bass target and glasses on 15 yards out on the bash target and then we'll attempt to build drill to see just side by side slow down comparison so yep that uh <laughs> yeah gold long is a significant different feel um the dot already didn't move but you'd have to be behind it like the dot doesn't move however i mean it's almost like it doesn't even kind of reciprocate in your hand like it feels really really short on the on the feel i don't know i, I don't know i know what i feel but um yeah All right, glasses on. Target has been marked. We're gonna go for, last one was a 189. 189, but it was only five shots. We're gonna go for a full six this time and see, not only can we get them fast, but we actually wanna stack them. So we're gonna focus in on the A zone, not that sporadic stuff around the target like we did last time. Shooter ready, stand by. Two oh one is the time. Two oh one is the time. First shot was one oh six. Again, first split twenty. The second one was eighteen nineteen. Um, well, sorry, first split was twenty. Then it went to eighteen. Then it went to twenty. Then it went to eighteen. Then it went to nineteen. And overall time was two oh one. 201 201 and I think we threw one can you see that look like we threw two we got one that's a line breaker but yeah one two we threw three four five and six so one two three four five and six and that time was 201. I could I could tell the difference on that. I could tell the difference on that. So we're going to mark this target and um, run back and do the gold short, which registers by DPM at 12 pounds. And we're gonna see what that feels like. And but right now I gotta I would stick with the gold long. Um, the gold long feels good. But we're going to see what this gold short feels like and let you tell. We'll report back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and we are back. We have the gold short put in now. And the gold short definitely feels softer. Um, we're going to, glasses on. We're going to see what the gold short feels like and then run a build drill with it and just just decide right now we're stuck on the gold uh long we're a fan of the gold long we're gonna see what the gold short feels like and make our determination after that i could definitely shoot this more uh <laughs> I just shot the got their uh, <laughs> spinner off. I didn't put the brackets on the side. Uh, let's do a build drill and see what it feels like. This feels real nice though, y'all. I gotta be honest with you. Um, I'm gonna pick up this spinner cause I did knock it down. Uh, we're at five yards. Camera's crooked. 
there we go we're at five yards and the target has been marked what we have not done is put on chapstick though so really quick no shave november got this my mustache and the hair on my mustache all tripping um all right guys here we go five yard build drill and five yard build drill on the gold short to see what it's like shoot it ready again we're not even going for we're going for focus shooting accuracy not just sending them we're actually wanting to clear alphas stand by I count it to five. I gotta run that back. I gotta run that back. Oh, I gotta run that back. I gotta run that back. I'm gonna tell you why I gotta run that back, y'all. Cause I counted five in my head and stopped. The seventh shot was at 177. Um, splits, best split was 18. It was 20, 19, 20. 18 again and then that delay great delay was freaking 82.82 so then it put us at a total time of 259 uh 259 and it looks like we threw one 259 and it threw one way through two sorry can you see that 259 what's that my shadow was that me yeah dog i'm dark I think that's the shadow. All right, here we go. One, two. Those are the two that I threw. And then three, four, five, and six. That, I don't know what's the six one. Let's mark the target and run it right back. Hey, the gold short is where it's at. All right, hold on. All right. We're going to run back the uh, AR, I mean, pfft, AR gold. That's a trigger that's in my 300 blackout. We're going to run back the gold short and um, see what it feels like and actually count our shots off. So shooter, load and make ready. We are loaded. Pop, 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 pop. All right. Shooter, are you ready? I think I am. Doom, 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 doom. That's what you need to make sure. Your grip is right. Da, 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 da. You're clearing that shirt. You're taking too long to get around that shirt. Just like that. That's where I want you. I want you shooting before you even get there. I don't want you doing all of that. On the gold short. I know we can get a sub two. Uh, all alphas. We can get a sub two anything, but sub two all alphas is what I'm aiming for. Here we go. Shooter ready. Stand by. Looks like I threw one again. First shot was 104, 17 split, 16 split, 20 split, 18 split, 17 split, with a total time of 192, 192, 192, and we threw, can you see that? One two three four five six so we threw one we did throw one but i knew we could get a sub on that freaking gold short this thing dpm you win you win is it repeatable i'm gar i guarantee you it is repeatable um but here's the thing I want to run a few movements real quick while i'm here i might as well get some movements in and we're gonna throw up the um cardwell flashbang responsive target the led green led light that goes behind any of your steel targets um we picked that out while out with john Patton out at the gun con 24 event at brownells 
um, headquarters and so we're gonna stick on the Cartwell flashbang and we're gonna we're not even gonna pass this up we'll mark it but we're just gonna run a little bit all right let's go let's get it baby all right so the drill is gonna consist of two shots on steel from 20 yards pull dang dang advance up to 15 two one on spinner one on spinner flash over to um the 10 yard and hit two in the body two in the body flash up to five and put two in the head on each one and then flash back over to 10 two in the body flash back out to 15 we'll do spinner spinner and then come back to 20 and two on the big steel. We making it up as we go. <laughs> Let's go, man. <laughs> Shooter, load and make ready. All right, we're gonna use the timer to get us started. But then it's gonna be flapping on us, so I got a feeling that it might actually um, turn off, but we shall see. Shooter ready. Stand by. felt good <laughs> it felt good uh, let's check the hits real quick threw one here threw one there we missed the headshot here got a mic we got all of those we knocked that down two in the body we threw one here Two in the head, we got one, we dropped one. I love to move. That's all it really is. All right. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are running out of daylight here. You see the um, bash targets behind me. I'm not sure if you can see the uh, green pulsating light from the uh, Caldwell flashbang. But uh, from a seated position, we're gonna see if we can take a shot and get that thing to light up for you, okay? Let's see. Can you see it from there? Yeah, you can see that thing. Listen to me. What I want you to know is, unload it, clear. Um, the DPM, if you are considering uh, picking up the DPM recoil management system for your CZ Shadow 2, I will 100% say do it. Not only will I say do it, I will say to you, I don't, I'm not even really concerned with what your POU is, your purpose of use. The, I, I'm running ports on mine and with the gold short, which registers from EPM at about a 12 pound, you, there's absolutely no hiccups. Like we didn't have any failures. We didn't have, now again, now when doing it, the trigger's resetting faster than before. So I did notice about two trigger freezes that I did receive throughout the entire day. Um, just in me thinking that the trigger is a little longer um, and me not, I hadn't, I hadn't come out. It had already, it, it got there. Anyway, DPM. You want this recoil management system. We are sticking with the gold short. Oh snap, guys, guest appearance. 
I didn't even realize I had my echelon. Load it, clear, clear. This video is nothing about this uh, gun, ladies and gentlemen, but I wanted you to see the freaking, sh I just want you to see now, the Sharp Bros lower, the Sharps Bros lower um, with the cherry grips. Oh my goodness, guys. We have the Floyd uh, Enforcer ports on the side wrapped around with the custom game green, green, candy green from Trigger Dad. We also have the Vortex Defender XL on it in green. Um, it has the SIG um, AXG Magwell. Guys, Powder River Precision Trigger. We also are running an Apex single-sided mag release. Guys, this gun is a beauty. I'm gonna see if we can light it up down range for you. I don't even know if the, um, nope, the optic is off. You can see that optic, it's off. So we're gonna go irons. And this is to me why you want irons on your firearm. What are we? at 25 yards and in the event that you have to take a 25 yard shot on irons because your dots turned off or failed in the immediate need you need it let's see can you let's see you can't because you like the cool kids you only want iron deletes <laughs> anyway amazing tool um let's put that back in its home and it was not in his home because I didn't even know it was in my bag. That means it's not on my wall at home. I don't know what's happening here. Anyway, guys, it has been an amazing day. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. The CZ Shadow 2 Compact Lock Grips Tummy Gun Stippling um, Trigicon SRO 2.5 Optic with the Jaeger Works uh, Optic Shroud. We also have the custom Gorilla Ports lined up on that. Not sure if you can see that, but it's in other videos. Go back and look at the under the hood that I did with this one. We also have the Lock Grip um, Magwell and Mag Release. Those palm swells on the CZ are absolutely chef's kiss. So, Guys, that's been it, man. Um, check out DPM. We don't have anything with them. We just wanted to get those springs for ourselves to upgrade the CZ. Um, shout out to my man, Shady Arms, my boy Chris. I appreciate you so much for the recommendation. Uh, and all my boys down south as well, man. Um, y'all boys rock. I can't wait to get down there and run with y'all or something. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, never compare, never complain, and never compete. Why? Because you off the threat don't forget if you like any of the bash targets head over to bashtargetsupply.com use the discount code got damage and save 15 percent that's five three times save 15 percent on site wide from the steel setups to the exploding golf balls to the poppers the spinners every god darn thing it, they make some great and the cardboard that we were shooting as well, the USPSA target. So guys, I love you. Deuces.